Manipulation is when you get people to do what you want them to do because it benefits you, right? And this is important. Manipulation is when you get people to do what you want them to do because it benefits 100%. you. The, it's just one side of a coin, though. The other side of the same coin is motivation. Motivation is when you get people to do what they want to do and it benefits them. Mm. Right? Same coin, two sides. That is, so, that is so right. One side is manipulation, one side is motivation. The skills that you need to make the coin are the same skills. That is so that is so right. That is a light bulb for me. That is so correct because it is the exact same formation and all this war by proxy stuff going on, but yet we do business. Like how like how weird is that? It's it's it seems when you don't have that new worldview, it seems like that wouldn't make sense. It would seem like those th those things are in conflict. But once you kind of start to a, a learn a larger worldview, you realize it makes sense because what do we always try to teach anybody in business or anyone in, in school, right? You, you do what you're supposed to do, but you're also checked. So like you take a test or a quiz in high school and you answer the questions. The teacher doesn't just give you credit for the test because you took it. They then go back and check the answers. The answers. Right. In business, we go through, we do a year's worth of business. And then what do we submit at the end of the year? Taxes. And they check to yeah. make sure that you're doing everything lawfully. Right? right. Intelligence services do the same thing. Why would we trust what China tells us? We don't. So we have an intelligence service that checks to make sure that they're telling us the truth and to steal the secrets they're not telling us. Yeah. And see, that's what I'm saying. All of that just seems like a this lesson is a lesson that causes the most issues when I tell people about it, right? And it's called moral and ethical flexibility. We're trained, we're recruited because we're already carrying some moral flexibility, right? Right. So there are some people who would never cheat on a girlfriend, and then there are some people who would cheat on a girlfriend if the situation was right. And then there's other people who just... No matter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? Flat out cheat. Yeah, so the CIA doesn't want the person who cheats all the time, and they don't want the person who cheats never. They want the person who cheats under the right circumstances because that's a person who can be manipulated and shaped mm. into uh, a different worldview, right? So that, that ethical flexibility, that moral flexibility is a really important element when CIA goes to find its intelligence officers. Just like you're saying the same thing, it doesn't feel right, right. but the bottom line gets the benefit. Exactly. It's a better product, exactly. it's a superior quality, yes. so I'm gonna do it even though it doesn't feel Makes right. Makes sense. Um, I've never heard CIA pick anybody from the ghetto. They actually pick a lot of people from, from some I don't really have diverse one friend. Roles. I don't have nobody I know that like, yo, CIA tried to get me. I got dudes <laughs> in the Navy, Army, Marines, but I haven't heard CIA. So what, a lot of times what ends up happening is CIA's requirements, because it's still a government organization. So that means you still have to have a really strict set of requirements that you meet before you can be recruited. So for a lot of folks, what that means is they have to go through the Navy, the Army, the Air Force, the Marine Corps first. They have to go to college, okay. right? You have to have a four-year degree. So my guess is that what what I've seen on the inside and what you haven't yet seen from the outside yet, because I'm sure you will, is that full life cycle of an individual. Somebody who starts, right. I don't know quite what you mean when you say in the ghetto, but I'm guessing you mean just, poverty and yeah, violence. Yeah, just from poverty, like just from poverty in um, the inner city. You know, I just haven't heard of any, uh, yo man, I almost got recruited to the CIA, but like you said, I haven't get, given that time. Right. You know, it takes time to go get that degree. It takes time to, be uh, you need years and yeah maybe and then, that's what it is and you also need to have people who get their life started without any kind of criminal record and they continue through those really difficult years without a criminal record and coming from poverty without that criminal record, which is difficult makes it a little harder yeah, yeah. and i mean are, are the benefits different in the cia than the army like is it perks different is absolutely it yeah so you
What's going on? It's your boy Big Loon. Right now, if you looked at this clip and you enjoyed it, hit subscribe. Watch the next video. We on the road to 100K subscribers on YouTube. If you're a fan, come to Patreon. We got exclusive videos there and also the show with just me alone. Salute to the supporters. Verify your customers and know who's your viewers. It's up there podcast. Let's get it. Yo, what up? This Big Loon. This is It's Up There Podcast.